Hello, Diddy DJ, and today in my video, I'm gonna show you another tip that how we can override corner radius on a tool path, and I'm gonna apply that tip on a, a chamfering tool path, and and you can see how it works. Okay, but first, let's take a look on this part. Uh, this is just a part I make for demonstration. Okay. It's not a real park. Uh, you can take a look on this, and you can see on this park there's there's nothing special, uh, but I have some small, very small corner here, like this one here, and and this and this. You can see I have very small corner here that uh, an end mill cannot get into to clean all of the material. You can see this here a sharp corner, no radius here. It's a sharp corner, and also here is very small radius. I'm gonna check this radius. You can see this here radius one. Okay, and the case is I'm gonna machine this part. I rough it and finish it with a three millimeter flat end mill. You can see this is stock, and I have a This is my roughing tool pad, and this is the finish. I finished this part with a three millimeter flat end mill. You can see there's no problem with the large corner here, large radius corner, no problem. But in the small corner, because this corner is radius one, but the the radius of the tool is one point five, so the tool cannot get clean all of the material in this corner, and also here, I'm gonna show you. It's very easy to see. Yeah, you can see the part is finished with three millimeter cutter, and you can see we have some material here on the stock, and we also had a lot of material left on the part here, and I already created a stock model so you can see I'm gonna blank this I'm gonna blank this also so did it the stock after finish we have some large corner here you can see and how about if you just want to keep this radius big like this? You don't want to to cut more, and you want to 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 leave the park like this. So let's consider the park is okay now with a uh, large radius. Okay, and what happen if I make a chamfer cut? Okay, I'm gonna make a chamfer cut uh, contour. I'm gonna select the chain. Okay, and I select the six millimeter chamfering tool. To this chamfer, I selected. For example, I want to make a 0 0.5 chamfer wide with one millimeter bottom offset. Okay, and okay, so this is my chamfer cut, chamfer tool pad. It will cut like this. You can see also no problem at the large corner. But when it go to small corner, we have the same problem like this. Okay, and I'm gonna make another stock here. You can see the result. I named this stock three. Okay, and for this stock, I apply the chamfer tool pad. All right, 
you can see after I make the chamfer we have a, a constant chamfer white around the park but in the corner you can see it make a big cut because of uh, the leftover material we have a big chamfer in here and it's much clear when you see on this small corner the smaller the corner the more uh, the bigger chamfer white you have so you have something like this it's look not good right you can see here okay I'm gonna make a cut on a simulation so you can see okay roughing and finish okay and we're gonna make the chamfer this is the chamfer you can see and when it goes to the corner it's gonna be like this very bad situation also here yeah because the cutting diameter of the chambering tool is based on the depth of the, the tool so the deeper we cut uh, sorry it depends on the depth of the chamfer tool so in this case if I change this one for example 0.5 you can see another different result yes like this you can see now the tool is go through the material and you can see this is the mark of the tip of the tool left over so what can we do on this case how we can override this corner radar so the chamfer the chamfering tool is not going to this corner it's not going too deep it will follow this profile left by the 3 mm tool okay and and it's time for the trick sorry i have to lower my voice because the baby is sleeping okay i hope you can still listening we're gonna take a look from the finished tool pad i made you can see i finished the part with three millimeter three millimeter and mill so it's gonna leave a uh, 1.5 radius here like this you can see this is the radius left by the tool also here on this corner And when I turn on the stock, you can see it's clearly yes. This is the radius left by the three millimeter tool, and here's the chamfer. You can see it's not follow this radius. So if you want a chamfer, it's follow the corner radius left by the tool. You have uh, more than one way to to modify. Okay, the first one many people are gonna use is modify this sharp corner. Okay, you can see is is the sharp corner, and if you want to the tool follow this, you have to make a fillet here with a 1.5 radius. You're gonna fill it, make a fillet. Okay, so. That's the first way to do. The second way, which is the trick I'm gonna show you, is we're gonna use an option in the master cam contour tool pad that's called internal corner routing radius. 
with this option we can decide the minimum radius of the tool pad okay but how we know the minimum corner radius so we need some easy calculation okay let's take a look on the tool we have a six millimeter chamfering tool with 90 degree angle and the tip is about zero okay and you can look at this we have a chamfer wide is 0 0.5 and the bottom offset we input is 0 0.5 that means we have a total value is one millimeter that means the tip of the tool will go lower than the chain one millimeter okay and based on that we can easily calculate the contacting diameter of the tool you can see here the distance from here to here I call that's the contacting diameter of the chamfering tool let me turn on this level you can see we go down one millimeter so by an easy calculation we can have we can calculate the cutting the contacting diameter of the chamfer tool is two millimeter like this okay now we got the contacting diameter of the chamfer is two millimeter okay and we have 1.5 radius here and when we do a 0.5 chamfer this is the 0.5 chamfer it will go like this and this is the contact line on the top surface now we got this this is radius 1.5 and we make an offset 0.5 this radius now become 2 2 millimeter radius because of the 0 0.5 chamfer okay because of the, the y of the chamfer is 0 0.5 like this here so we got the contacting radius on the park is 2 millimeter and we just calculate the contacting radius of the chamfer tool is one millimeter because the contacting diameter is two so we got the contacting radius of the tool is one so we got a, a radius four a radius two here for the top of the chamfer and we got a radius one here for the tool so we need to add one millimeter more radius okay we just take two and minus by one so we have one addition and we regenerate the tool pad now you can see instead we have a sharp corner now we got a one millimeter rounding radius here at the sharp corner and I'm gonna regenerate the stock you can see the difference so you can see the chamfer the chamfering tool now is follow the, the radius left by the finish tool okay and then we can make a, a simulation so you can easily see we make a roughing cut and we make a finish cut and now we go with the chamfer it's follow perfectly you can see so you don't need to modify the chains you just add a, a corner radius here and the tool will follow the radius 
like this you can see now we have even y of the chamfer very nice okay so you can see by just using some uh, simple calculation we can make the, the chamfer tool is follow the, the actual profile on the part like this and we don't don't need to, to modify the original chains and this is a good way to do see that is follow the, the profile left by the finish tool okay and for example you want to make the chamfer tool go deeper by Change, changing the, the bottom offset value so now in this case we have 1 and 0 0.5 that means we have a, a total 1.5 millimeter depth so we can easily calculate we have the contacting diameter is 3 millimeter that means we have a 1.5 radius for the contacting radius of the tool 1.5 and we have a 2 meter 2 millimeter radius here for the contacting vet radius on the part that means we have we need to add 0 0.5 millimeter in the corner radius so the tool can follow the part okay and left we can see uh, we, we can see the results after we change the parameter you can see it's the same no different yeah this routing radius value is based on the, the chamfer white and the bottom offset you selected so you can see it's very easy and that's the tip for today maybe you you can use it sometime so we don't have to to modify all the corner here we just make a calculation and the tool the chamfer tool will follow the park it's very easy okay thank you for watching and uh, goodbye for now